Hi everyone. Have a look. Check it out. Digital microscope. So what happened was I got an email the other day from a Chinese company, Vivo. You must have heard of them. And they've been contacting a lot of uh, channels to uh, review products and they've really they've got a big marketing push at the moment. And so lo and behold, they contacted even little old me. They said, hey, we like your channel. Uh, we want to send you a knife sharpener so you can review it. I said, mm, love your guts, but if you could not, that'd be great because I've already got a knife sharpener and I'm, I'm very happy with it. And they said, oh, okay. Um, is there anything else maybe we could send you? Go and have a look at our website. Now, I don't know if you've been to the Vivo website, but they've got a lot of stuff. So I'm looking through, first thing I searched for was digital microscope. Wonder if they've got one. They had one. Not only that, but they've got a big 10 inch. This is the 10 inch, the big one. And um, so I thought, ah, oh, it's like 220 something dollars. I said, no, nah, they're not going to send me that. So I replied, I said, look, um, here's the link to the product that I wouldn't mind. They said, it's on its way. No way. So a couple of days later, it's not even been a week. Um, here it is. Now I did a big unboxing video, but you know, you don't need to see that. It's just, you know, you can assemble it. It's pretty basic. And so I've been playing with it and it's not bad, man. I love it. I, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to use it and uh, we're going to have some fun with it in a second. So, um, it's the, uh, basically it's the 10 inch version, 10.1 across there. It's about 10 inch roughly. And it's got an SD card, comes with the SD card, 32 gigabytes. Um, it charges itself via a USB port straight to my computer, it started charging. I was a bit confused about how I was going to charge it. They said, just plug it into a charger. I said, oh, right, and there's no charger. And then I thought I'll just plug it into the USB. And it started, red light at the back starts charging, no problems. So um, that works. It, uh, it can record... Um, uh, 10, uh, what is it, um, 1024 by 600 is the resolution, but it can record full 1920 by 10, 1080 um, HD video. That's great. It can record up to 48 megabyte, uh, megapixels of, I'm pretty sure video, if not photo, we'll have a look in a minute. Um, it can uh, export to another monitor which I've set up there. Now, don't mind the purpleness. That's obviously, a, my monitor's gone wonky there, but it's uh, pretty sharp. There's the, the quality is very good. I'll bring you in closer in a minute. Um, the, I've been having a play with it. It's, it's a little bit fiddly when you start getting up into the micro, into the, uh, the big magnifications. It goes up, up to 1300X magnification. Um, now, the, the, uh, the last magnification seems to be digital so i've lowered it down to non-digital and pure optical and so this is what you're looking at here which is plenty big enough for us um, that's the only thing that i would say maybe could be a little bit better is that the magnification could be true 1300 that'd be nice but it's you can see it starts to pixelate a little bit but that doesn't matter because this seems to be working fine um, what else? Uh, it's got lots of led lights and that there's one in, there's 10 in the camera quite a few there's a whole list of features here um but basically it's pretty good man I'm, I'm 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 liking it it says um that it's got eight led lights in the bottom and a couple of them up the top here uh another thing i think maybe they're a little bit not not as bright as they could be i was having some trouble with the uh, getting the knife edge to reflect properly and paul from alexandria knife sharpening he has a filter of some sort that, um, that that stops the reflection from coming straight back at us. So I might look into that and um, if I can find a link to his video, I'll put it down below. There's a, um, uh, there's obviously, I'm gonna put some links down below to buy it if you want. And yeah, they're affiliate links. They give me a few bucks, not much. Um, but there's another discount code, which I'm going to audio. So stay watching. Um, I'm not gonna put it into the bottom bit there. Uh, into the description. I'm only going to put the links back to the website. Uh, there's uh, a US price, there's a Euro price, and there's Australian price. And I believe 
The reason they do that is because they've got depots in all of those, those areas because this one came from um, Australian ship, didn't take long. And so the American one ships from America, the Euro ships from Euro, I believe. Um, it's got a remote control for zooming in and out and doing some um, uh, functions. But it's all pretty sort of self-explanatory. There's not really that much more to say. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'd, uh, I would say if you wanted to grab one, you could probably grab one knowing that it's reasonable, you know, pretty good quality. Um, this screen by itself is, is, is plenty good, but I could even um, export it. It's HDMI export. I could export it out to my, uh, I've got a spare TV, 42 inch. So um, that's a good thing um, if we need to, but that's plenty big enough, I think, for, uh, for what we need to do. And so what I thought I would do is um, run through some, um, some stuff. Let's magnify. Let's have some fun. So I'll bring you in a little bit closer. Okay, so first thing I thought I would, I'd do is I, um, I, I ground a knife up. And what I did is I ground the whole thing at 80 grit. And then I only ground up to there to 320. And then I only honed on the wheel to there. And then I only did a roo strop, a, 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 roo, a kangaroo tail strop from there to there. So we'll be able to see the transitions. I thought that might be interesting for you to have a look at. But let's, before we do that, let's just have a look at some other interesting stuff. So this is a, a Victorinox pocket knife. All right. You can see that that's pretty magnified. There's the edge. Can focus pretty easily. I'll sharpen this one. All right, so it's pretty, pretty strong magnification. I, 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 I'm pretty happy with it. When it's not outdoors 55 level, he's got all the gear. But you know, it's good enough for our purposes, and it's only about 225 Australian dollars. So I think, I don't know what that is in, Ameri in American dollars, but it's pretty bloody cheap. Um, and uh, some of the, um, I've looked at some of the other reviews of uh, uh, digital microscopes, and some of them, when you export to a, a monitor, uh, you, you lose the main, the main screen, right? Which is a bit, you know, not good. But this does both, right? So you can see it there and you can export it there. Now, I'm guessing that if you can export it there, you might be able to export it to a video capture or if you want to get tricky like that. But, you know, I'm recording it on my phone and I think that's plenty good enough for our, um, for our um, purposes. So, um, what else? Here's some steel wool. All right. Interesting. Here's my diamond plate, 80 grit. There they are, little guys. Um, some kangaroo tail. Why not? So we can see the, the, um, the you know what's grabbing the uh, the root of the burr and, and ripping it out. And have a look at this. Isn't that interesting? So that's what as we as we wipe our knives over, and 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 it dislodges the root of the burr. That's kind of what it is. So. That's interesting, isn't it? Yep. Um, what else? All right, well, listen, let's just straight on to this knife. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to do a, uh, a bevel show. Right? And this can be raised up and down. And so at first I couldn't figure out how to, you know, I thought the magnification was a little bit weak. But um, then I uh, lowered it down. And as you bring it in closer, Obviously, you can put it right up against this lens, this plastic cover, and focus right in on that. And you can see the bevel. Look at that. All right. So that's 80 grit. You can see the burr. That, that, crack, that crackly stuff on the top, that's the burr. So I'm going to go from 80 grit to uh, 320. There's the tech. There's the the marker. So there's the difference between 
80 grit and 320 you can see the mark the, the grinding marks are much finer there than they are here right and here is after the leather hone leather wheel so I'll make sure that I can so you can see that the burr see how it's all crickly uh, all, all wonky on the top there and here it's gone right so that's the burr gone and now we'll get to the kangaroo strut here it is and here I don't know if you can see it but I can okay so here is um, on the honing wheel and here is after the kangaroo strop now I don't know if you can see that little wire edge on the top right there and here it's gone see that wire edge gone isn't that interesting and so here it's gone see wire edge gone gone that is honing wheel that is pure burr right you can definitely see the difference there Let's see if i can get it straight and still sorry i mean all right so you can see this burr here and here it's all taken off and that's the wire edge all right that everyone talks about and here that wire edge is gone so there should be less reflecting so you can te definitely tell the difference between that and that. That's burr. That's finished edge. So yeah, hours and hours of fun. Um, I would say this is a recommended buy if you're into that sort of thing it's a uh, it's reasonably affordable and it works fantastically so that's my recommendation i'm very happy with it and i'll be happy if you bought it now if you want some discount the discount code is vv promo so v for victor v for victor promo double v promo you put that in and you get a little bit of extra discount so um thanks for watching and let's see how we go we'll do more of this as i go along i think i want to do some more experimenting with knives and see if i can really capture those bird differences but um hopefully we'll uh, we'll get through that and experiment a little bit more with the Vivo W10, it's called. Thanks for watching.